Okay, what are we doing today? Today we're going to be talking about appliances. I'm going to tell you what, a lot of people get started in a food truck, food trailer, or STFU business and they don't know where to actually start. All right, what appliances am I going to need? Do I really need to have this? What's going to make the people come to me? Well, I'm going to tell you this right now. If you're a first timer, I always suggest to people to start out with the basics. What you know will make money. All right, there are certain appliances that you will need to be able to do that. Because let's face it, you don't want to get right into a barbecue business and you never had an STFU. So you don't even know where to begin. How, what do I need to cook? What do I need to bring for drinks? All those things, you know, other than maybe you did some backyard cooking and you know what everybody likes. Well, that's a little different when you get to events, carnivals, race car tracks, and all the other events that people of all different food styles, they, they want something either different or they want something the same. But the most important thing, people are going to want something that's cost efficient. That's right. A lot of these people are not coming out with big money just to you know, blow it on food, if, especially at a carnival. The rides are expensive if you don't know that already. They are. Okay, so they want to get in there with a budget to be able to get their kids fed and get out. Just like that. So let's go over some appliances so that you have a basic understanding of where, where you need to start or what you need to have. Okay, so let's do that. Come on. Since we're talking about the big stuff, we might as well keep on going with what I believe to be is the most important appliances, and that is a fountain soda machine. We're talking water, syrup, CO2, 13 cents later, $3 for a large. Work your way down to a small or combine it with a combo meal. But I'm telling you what, a fountain soda machine is going to make hands over fists over money guaranteed at these hot events all right and it's best to have a unit that has the ice maker on the top here okay you just pour your bags of ice in there and that's why it's important to have what i'm going to talk about in a little bit here a freezer okay so pour your bags of ice in there and then hit that and then you know obviously the ice comes out or they have other uh fountain soda machines where the ice is like in a chill box but it's not really chill okay it's just a holding place and there's a drain uh so when it heats up and it goes outside into your gray water tank so you know if you were going to do that then obviously you would make that where it would fit right in here because typically them are on legs all right so if they're on legs you want that to fit nice and snug if you're getting a, a fountain soda machine but i'm gonna tell you what big money gotta have this all right I would take this over the slushy any day. So let's let me give you an idea what this uh, fountain soda machine should cost. A low end should be around two hundred dollars, and you won't see it running. But there are some things that you're going to need to have with that unit to make sure that it can run in the future. Obviously, the unit itself. You want to make sure that you're getting the key, okay? That shutoff key. Now down below, that back there, that silver little tank, that's carbonizer. Okay, and that's the motor. You're gonna need the CO2 gauge that goes to the CO2 tank, which typically you will not get. Flow jet. However many uh, dispensers you have, that's how many flow jets you should have. And then the hoses should have these bib connectors. And there's a few different, uh, maybe two or three different type of bibs. And this connects to your syrup boxes. And that's pretty much it for that. But that's on the low end, $200. And that's not running. That's not seeing it run. So if you're going to get a unit that's running, that's probably going to run close to around $500. And that may be the best bet. That way you can see everything, then take it apart, mark all your lines of where they go to. An important appliance to have inside of your food truck or your food trailer, in my opinion, would be a slushy machine. I mean, let's face it. It's talking water, a little bit of syrup. It freezes it. Next thing you know, you're selling it for $5 a cup. Yeah. These hot events, I'm telling you what, we couldn't keep up with a slushy machine. We should have had more, but it draws a lot of power. We're talking 15 to 1800 watts, you know, just to run this unit when it's at full capacity of, of freezing the water. So keeping up with it is, is difficult. Like I said, I mean, we would empty this thing out and then we'd fill it right back up again and people would walk up to the window. They'd see that it's full. I'd tell them, hey, it's not really frozen just yet. It's just got ice particles in it. And they'd be like, I don't care. It's cold. Give it to me. Guess what? I sold it just like that. Slushy machines, 
I'm going to tell you what are very important. If you plan on getting one of these used, we're talking dang near what, twelve, fifteen hundred dollars for a used unit, and new, we're talking twenty-five hundred to three thousand dollars. But if you're going to buy a used one, there's something important that you need to pay attention for. You can go ahead and turn the unit on when you're going to buy it. Okay, you can turn it on to see if the barrels freeze. And it'll spin, okay? So the auger will be spinning around the, the barrel. And then all you have to do is just let it run for about five minutes. And then shut it off. And then touch the barrel. And then scrape it. And you'll see that there's ice built up on that barrel. Okay, that stainless steel barrel on both of them. Make sure both of them are working. Because you can get one that's working and the other one might not be working. Very important to have. Make you a lot of money really fast at all these hot events. Who don't like popcorn? Well, maybe not a lot of people, unless you're at an event where there's a lot of kids, where you're selling the popcorn, a bag, a dollar, and maybe a box for $2. I mean, let's face it. I mean, popcorn can either be a hit or a miss, but it really doesn't cost much to actually make it. And if you have to throw it away at the end of the night, well, then you just throw it away. But these units right here, a brand new uh, popcorn maker is going to run probably around $200 to $250, okay, for this style, for this size. And if you're going to buy a used one, I'd buy a used one for around $100. But why even mess around with the used one? They can be problematic. So go with the new one, $200, $250. And also make sure uh, your food truck or your food trailer look a little fuller. And it gives people a variety of something else that they can purchase instead of some chips. If you're undecided on what type of food you plan on having inside your food truck, food trailer, your SDFU, I would suggest, all right, no matter if you already have something in mind, it's always good to have a chili and cheese machine, okay? This is made by Giel, and Giel makes an awesome chili and cheese. It comes in the bags, and it has a little push nozzle that comes with it right here, so either for the chili or the cheese. And inside, you know, I just pop this cover off. You put the bag here or the bag here, and you get these little weights, all right? And that goes on top of the bag, and it just kind of presses it down as you hit the little dispenser. And this little unit right here, a used one is going to cost you around $300, all right? And typically, um, you may not find one in your local area. You're probably going to have to just send out for it and take their word that it's actually pretty good. And that's what I did with this one here. I got this one for $150. It was a couple states away, and it was well worth the buy, all right? Just got to search around for it. But if you're going to get a chili cheese machine, don't just go with the cheese. I'm telling you, for the money... Get the chili and the cheese and they sell the small bags okay that go on each side you just have to find a company that actually sells them money maker all right so what goes with the money maker of the chili and the cheese well of course your nacho chips this little unit right here is probably 150 dollars brand new all right and you're typically going to get a little scooper with that and the company that sells uh the the popcorn maker the nacho uh chip uh, holder and maybe even the, the, this uh, chili and cheese machine is right here. I'm going to show you that, okay? It says, Great Northern Popcorn Company. If you're undecided on what you want to do inside of your food truck, food trailer, well, then guess what? Get yourself a hot dog roller. These things right here run about $2 to $250 for a brand new unit. Yeah, they sell used ones out there for about $100, but typically you're going to have some type of corrosion or rust on top of these rollers right here because people don't like to keep them clean. And that's one of the biggest things when it comes to a hot dog roller. You want to clean these things really, really well after each event because the corrosion will start building up after about a year. You just have to throw the thing away or just cook it the way it is and hope people don't see you got rust or corrosion going into the food. Not a good thing for the inspector to see. Okay, so this unit right here, like I said, is 24 hot dogs can go on this thing. And this made a lot of simple money. All right, so next thing you know, you got the Giel chili and cheese machine right next to it. So take the hot dog, put it on the bun, run it underneath his thing inside of that little uh, styrofoam capped bowl. And you fill it right up with onions, relish. Next thing you know, that's $3, $4. It's walking away. Some other person sees it, says, I want what he's got. Why? Because that thing is just so sloppy full. You got to give him a fork to go with it. Yeah, right here, everybody. The hot dog roller. All right, not really a necessity. But it's worth having, okay, one of these heat lamps. And I say that because sometimes you can make something and then it be not the way that the person 
that's taken the money told you that it was the way it was supposed to be and the customer doesn't want it. So you just want to throw it under the heat lamp real quick. You don't want to keep it there for hours, okay, because it's going to be terrible. But you can keep it there for at least five to ten minutes because somebody else may come along and be like, hey, yeah, I'll go ahead and take that. All you got to do is just throw it at them as an upsell, especially if they're getting a bunch of nacho for all their kids. You just say, hey, I got one back here that's got all this stuff on it. They didn't really want it. How about that one for half the price? You gotta have some refrigerators, all right? As you can see, I got two of them, and they also have the freezers that are above, okay? So refrigerator on the bottom, uh, freezer on top. These are just the small apartment or even the dorm sides. They're not the cubes, because remember, the cubes will be about right up to there, and I got one of those right underneath this here. And I'm telling you what, when it comes to bottled water, all right, that you can just fill this whole compartment up with just bottled water or even you know some people want a specialty drink like Red Bull or Monster you can carry all that stuff and have it available having it is the most important thing when somebody comes to your food truck because the other person next door may not even have anything like that and if you could put a sign outside of your food truck or food trailer stating that you got a drink or something else that somebody else doesn't have man easy money okay you will be able to sell it maybe not at this event but the next one bad the good thing is that it doesn't spoil hmm? there is a day, expiration date but i hope you sell it before that or you need to lower your price just a little bit as far as the freezers are concerned listen ice cream bars ice cream sandwiches eskimos uh, uh, the big giant uh freeze pops these things sell this is like easy money when I, listen to me this is like easy money ice cream you buy the box of the ice cream sandwiches you're jacking the price up you know to what 250 to two dollars uh, uh for an ice cream sandwich are you kidding me no i'm not kidding you you're gonna make some money off that right there so you want to make sure you got some freezers so that you can carry all of that ice cream inside here you just reach in and grab it bam it's gone all right, another important item. I said it before, I gotta say it again because you gotta be able to carry bags of ice. All right, bags of ice go inside this big freezer chest. It's only a five cubic, all right? So it's not that big. I mean, look at it right here. That's what, I don't know, it's like 36 inches right here and then deep, you know, probably about 20 inches. Good little thing to have inside of your food truck or food trailer. It doesn't occupy a lot of space. You can put stuff on top of it. If you need to be able to get to it, you can simply just take it off, open the lid, grab the ice bags, and move along. And then you're selling a whole bunch of ice and good stuff. It's like uh, Eskimo pies and the freeze pops, like I said. Look at one of those little dorm, dorm style refrigerators. This right here, you can find these on Facebook Marketplace or Craig's, Craigslist or anywhere, be honest with you, for around $50. This is well worth having, this little cube, okay? Remember the bottled water. The, the, the Gatorades, the Monster, the, the Red Bull, all that stuff. Now, these other refrigerators that I was talking to you about, these little bigger size, these ones right here are going to run you around $100 on Facebook Marketplace, maybe even $150, but they're well worth the money to have. And I got two of them that you've seen, and I got this little kicker right here. All right, you got to have a microwave. You can find these things for around $15 to $20 or maybe a little bit more, but you know what? They're important to have. We've done events where some of our stuff, like our hot dogs, were still frozen because we, we took them out. We were selling a lot. They just were not thought enough to put them on a hot dog roller. So we, what we end up doing, we just throw them in a the microwave just for about a minute and then put them on the rollers. Good thing to have. Good investment just to have it on the side for the just in case. All right. So this little guy right here, three burner uh, coffee maker, runs off a direct line from your, your water source or you can just pour the water into the top typically comes with three coffee pots or two couple coffee pots pretty easy to work if you plan on buying one of these things right here they're gonna run around a hundred dollars all right you can find them on Facebook marketplace and they're good things to have if you uh, plan on doing any cold weather events uh, snowmobiling sledding or even some type of festivals that are in the winter time but if you plan on getting that then you might as well just go ahead and get yourself a cappuccino maker and that's what the ones with the three different flavors inside of it them units can run three to five hundred dollars you want to make sure that them are working okay so make sure that you know inside of the cappuccino machine when you open up that front face of the door you'll see the three compartments that are in there that hold the different flavors uh there's a little turner that's inside of there that turns it and that's what makes uh the that uh, the 
the amount of powder to go into the water mixture. So you want to make sure that all three of those are working before you actually purchase it. Cause that's a lot of money for that unit and, and they're not cheap to fix. All right. So you want to make sure you get a good one. And bam, just like that, everybody, you got a rundown of the appliances that I have inside of this food truck. If you're undecided on what you want to actually do, but you know you want to start your own business and you know you want to get out there and satisfy your customers, well then, hey, there you go. Start out simple and then get a little bit more complex as you get moving along, all right? Remember, when you go into an event, you want to go in like a tank that's prepared for war. And I really mean that because you don't want to go into war and you don't have all the ammunition you need to run that tank. That's right. So have everything that you need or could need, right? Use up all the space that you have available inside of your food truck or your food trailer and roll in there like you're ready to go to war. Yeah. If you buy something and, and you, don't, you don't think it's a big seller and you're not going to use it anymore, simply just turn around and sell it. Maybe you can make a couple bucks on it because you bought it for a lower price. You clean it up just a little bit because it was used. The next thing you know, you're selling it and making a little bit of money. But either way, you got an idea. I hope this video helped you guys out. Do something positive for yourself. Do something positive for somebody else. Make the world a better place to live and a little bit of hope. With that, everybody, you know how this goes. Come on now. Cue that music. <laughs>